Hey, what's going on, you guys? Synth here, and I'm back with another toy review. Like, Jesus. I don't know, you guys look like you're enjoying it, and I'm glad for that. That's the one thing a lot of people want, is if you're enjoying the video. And here it is, another toy review. And this time I'm bringing you the Ultimate Edition of Robocop vs. Terminator. Bam. And this is Endocop Terminator Dog. This is the Endocop and all that stuff. I don't know what I was doing right there. Alright, let's take a little peek. Bam. Ooh. We got Endocop with a gun and the dog. Endocop, let's get a brief discussion on who Endocop is. When the human resistant learns that the technology that rebuilt Officer Alex Murphy, who is a.k.a. Robocop, led by Skynet becoming sentient, sentient, uh, its deadliest soldiers sent back in time to stop it, her, her mission, eliminate Robocop before his consciousness can give birth to the murderous computer network. But in a bid for self-preservation, Skynet sends its own agents to the past. A squadron of Terminators asked with protecting Robocop at any cost, determined to prevent the apocalypse he has participated while evading the threat of the rebel soldier. After his life, Murphy must engage in a time-twisting battle that will take him both sides, both inside Skynet and into the distant future. So basically, if you don't get it, Robocop vs. Terminator is a comic series that came out late 80s into the early 90s, where it was basically, I don't know, fan bases and everything. Oh, Terminator came out around the same time. Robocop came in, or it was the exact, it was around, or the exact opposite. It was Robocop came around, around the same time that Terminator came out, and then it was like, whoa, imagine this stuff could come together. But yeah, alright, alright, let's get into how the, the figure is and everything. We'll get to how the box looks in a second. Ooh, look at that, it's Alice Angel. Ooh. Okay, you guys, well, here we are. The Endocop with Terminator Dog. I think that's how it goes. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to throw it out here right now. Right here, right now. They pretty much just like chopped up an old... Well, not an old one. Of course, it's brand new. But they just took a Robocop figure that they had before, chopped off the arms, carved out the mouth, put a, and just put a bunch of... like, ter And just put Terminator arms on it. Terminator mouth. And then just these random rocket boots right here just to lift them off. You lift me up when things are... Not good. But yeah, that's how it is. They literally just put Terminator arms here, Terminator mouth, put the visor a different color, and put these little rocket things for him to fly. That's literally it. But yeah, well, let's still get into it. The legs can go 360 degrees in this weird direction. They go in a little forward, a little out, all that. The legs can go all the way back in a 90 degree angle, which is still pretty cool. The feet, not too much. You have the little joint right here where it goes up and down like a machine. Would not recommend going all the way out. Same thing right here. Perfectly right here. And the leg does the same thing. Uh, the torso does not move too much. It's pretty... Mm, head, 360 degrees. Uh, can swivel a little, not too much. Arms, 360 degrees, both of them. Then go 90. Ooh. Ooh, they do not go all the way up? Oh, they do. Okay. They can go all the way up. Alright. You can turn them, all that. The hands, oh, they can also go in 360 degrees. Arms do not. Oh, you have the little joints right there. Gives it almost like the. Oh, sorry gives almost the motion of like realistic like tendons moving in like the arm and the biceps right there all right and let's see marvelous detail amazing really captures like well really captures from like the robocop from the movie of alex murphy i have the original figure where the where the gun holster comes out, where you pop it open, you put the gun in, which is also... Wait a minute, that reminds me. Where is the gun? Hold on. Here it is. We got the classic gun for Terminator. Ah, I wish I could focus a little more. Mm, not so much. The detail's amazing. Got all the entry right there. The trick 
with the Terminator hands because they are very thin and delicate. And with the uh, NECA figure Terminators, you have to be very careful because they will snap. But luckily, they finally learned how to do it. And all you have to do is the trick. All you got to do is put the gun a little sideways, slip it in, and then turn it right in. And that's it. That's all you got to do. The gun's perfect. Goes in. He's ready. He's ready for combat. Put him in his pose. All that. All right. And now let's get to his little buddy. All right. Ooh, a Terminator dog. Oof, dang, this one is creepy. All right, all right. Right there, amazing detail down to the last. You got his little butt swinging around. Ooh, almost got like the joints moving in and out. Ooh, let the dogs out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Let's see. You cannot move the torso as well. Not too much momentum. Arms 360 degrees. They do swivel a little bit. I don't know if they pop out. They probably do. They do. They do. But I don't want to take the risk, so I wouldn't recommend doing it. The arms can go all the way up. Ooh, that's a lot of articulation within the paw and the front paws. Hmm. Almost like a horse. Hmm. Huh. The foots can swivel back and forth a little bit, not too much, so I wouldn't recommend forcing it. Arms go up. 90, uh, 45 degree angle, not too much. The arm, 90 degrees, they can go 90 degrees. Let's see, the back piece, the same thing, 90 degrees. And, ooh, eh, 90 degrees as well in the back. The foot as well just swivels back and forth, not too much. 360 degrees the whole leg, you can stand it up. Make a little saluting, hey, uh, hmm, not too bad. The head, the neck, not too much. It does not, no movement. Okay, so the head could go 306 degrees. Looks like it could pop out from the joint, but again, don't, I recommend don't doing it. Got amazing detail down to the eyes. Really catching like the Terminator vibe of like the 80s. The jaw all the way down. Ooh, amazing detail. Dang, I'm loving this. All right, it's not bad. Ooh, some crazy stuff right there. It is some, yo, these two are the creepiest. The dog and him, creepy just looking at it. But still amazing detail, down to all of them. All right, that's cool. All right, let's get to the box. All right, so as we saw from the box design, the cover is basically matching from the comics on where we have the Endo Cup fighting the Terminators. They're flying full frontal, going after the attack of Skynet. Catching the battle scene between them all. Amazing fight. All there. Destruction. Destruction. He's dying for his life. Hmm. Dang. The back. Right here we have the next coming figure. Coming soon. Future Robocop. Basically we're going to get the other figures sold separately. Hmm. Basically we see Alex Murphy's Robocop pimped out. He is strapped up to fight and he is ready to kill you can see rockets there he's got like a terminator arms going on right there he's been through hell and back but i guess we'll see that soon enough robocop versus terminator sponsor brought to you by NECA, mgm 1987 or ryan pictures corporation which brought us robocop movie 2017 metro Goldwyn mayor studios incorporated all rights reserved studio canal Dark Horse Comics. I guess that's where you can get the comic series. Real Toys, NECA. Alright. Made in China. Not surprising. This box uh, with these figures cost me $24.99. But I got this in a comic shop. So it may differ in stores wherever you may go. So be aware of that. They open up. You open these up. They give you amazing background. All that. In the back it gives you like I guess the end of the Endocop. Find Skynet and destroy it. It will be uh, decades before it can be rebuilt. If ever in the time, perhaps humanity will realize the danger it represents. Time, it all catches up with him now. And this time, Matrix, he has won. The Terminators have been destroyed before they were conceived. He has won. And in winning this version of him, he ceased to exist. So basically in the end, I guess it's spoilers to all of us. They won and that was the end for... Skynet and Terminators, all alike, but, yeah. Hmm. 
But overall, you guys, it was an amazing figure. I really love it. So the, I gotta give it a review of... Hmm... Eight? Eight? There is a few flaws where it's not too much articulation, and then there's a few things that are afraid of. But in all series, it is amazing figures. When it comes to NECA and the Terminators and, like, Robocop, they do an amazing job, and they catch the image perfectly and well done down to the detail. It really is an amazing thing. Yeah. But I really do hope you guys enjoy the video, these toy reviews. I'll be coming out more later in the future. Maybe in time I'll come and get... I'll show future Robocop, and I will love it, because I'm a big fan of Terminator and Robocop. I'm all... looking for all the figures down to it. But I really do hope you guys enjoy the video. Synth lives. Please subscribe. Join the Synth Nation. Hit that human like button down there. Something in the... You can write something down in the comments. If you guys really enjoyed it, I'll bring down more. Alright, catch you guys next time. Peace. God, I stuttered too much. Oh!